Hello. Welcome to Short Travel Vlogs. Today I will talk about a beautiful city, Hampi. If you are interested in history and Hindu culture, Hampi is the place that you must visit in India. Before we move further, don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Let's get started. To reach Hampi, I took a train from Hyderabad to Hosapete, which is 12 kilometers away from Hampi. I would suggest you to stay at Hosapete because the hotels are cheap and comfortable. Before going to Hampi, I visited the Tungabhadra Dam. अभी अभी स्टार्ट हुआ हमारा ट्रिप एंड वी आर एंजॉइंग बहुत सारी बटरफ्लाइज है एंड राइट में डैम बिल्ट ऑन द रिवर तुंगापत्रा दिस डैम इज मल्टीपर्पज सर्विंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेशन इरिगेशन एंड फ्लड कंट्रोल एज अ टूरिस्ट आई वुड सजेस्ट यू टू विजिट दिस प्लेस इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर अ काम प्लेस टू रिलैक्स एंड मेडिटेट It is also a beautiful place for photographers as you can find many species of birds and fish. Now let's go to our first destination in Hampi, Virupaksha Temple. If you take a bus from Hosapete, it will terminate near this temple. Hampi Bazaar is nearby this temple. When you enter you will see this elephant giving blessings to people The history of this temple is unknown In the middle of this temple there is a canal through which the water of Tungabhadra flows This is the oldest temple in Hampi On the left side of the temple there is a statue of Mustard Ganesha and a hill where you can relax and witness the sunset Next day when we woke up we grabbed some south indian breakfast and took a bus from Hosapete to Hampi Our next destination is Krishna Temple It was built in 1523 by Krishna Dev Raya in the memory of his victory in a war against gajapati raya on many pillars of this temple the life story of krishna dev raya has been carved in the form of pictures this temple is dedicated to lord krishna the main idol of this temple that is of infant krishna is now on display at state museum in chennai this beautiful temple was set on fire by invaders multiple times and yet it survived next destination is ogra narsimha temple with height of 22 feet it is the largest statue in hampi Ever wondered where royal elephants were kept? The Royal Elephant Stable. Along with Lotus Temple, this building was also an amalgamation of Hindu and Muslim architecture. We had some refreshments and we finally moved towards my favorite Hazara Rama Temple. The beauty of this temple is inexplicable. Hazara Rama means thousand ram. This temple is full of engravings of yoga postures, gods, goddesses, 
and dashavatars some of these scriptures lack passion tales from the epic ramayan can also be seen in these pillars the beauty of this temple is mesmerizing our next destination is a platform with 80 square feet area and 22 feet height mahanavmi dibba it was built by krishna dev raya in memory of his conquest of odisha the carvings on this platform are just like those in hajara rama on climbing up you can get a beautiful 360 degree view of hampi from this platform hunting pictures dance postures and mythological scenes are engraved on this platform next destination is again a mixture of hindu and muslim architecture the queen's bath it is an 8 feet deep swimming pool with water flowing in from a canal outside after this we thought of satisfying our taste buds a bit and we grabbed a quick lunch moving around hampi is not a big deal you can rent bicycles or you can hire auto rickshaws or taxis on our way to vijaya vittal temple we also saw ranganatha temple and the sule bazaar and here we are at the vijaya vittal temple in front of this temple is the world famous stone chariot in the chariot pictures of soldiers hunters the portuguese the arabs and the persians have been depicted vijaya vittal temple is one of the best sculptures of hampi this temple is constructed on a polyhedron foundation the monolithic pillars have been subtly sculpted there are figures of angels lotus swans yoga postures and horses here comes the best part of hampi trip climbing a hill to burn all the calories we arrived at matang hill if you are an adventure freak or you like to feel like you're on the top of the world then you should not miss this hill at all this hill has three routes that may take you to the top but the most famous one is near hampi bazaar climbing this rocky hill is not that easy so i would suggest you to wear trekking shoes or sport shoes to avoid slipping climbing these gigantic rocks and steep slopes actually tests your strength and endurance but this hard work leads you to this beautiful 360 degree aerial view of the vijayanagara empire of hampi it is a paradise for photographers i felt so relaxed when the wind was brushing my hair we had an amazing time over there on the next day from virupaksha temple we headed towards northeast and landed to this beautiful site where sugriv was crowned as king by lord ram after he killed his brother bali this temple is known as kondand rama temple in front of the temple you can see an amazing view where water of tungabhadra flows between two rocky hills and forms a pond
temple has giant statues of Ram, Sita, Lakshman and Sukhdev. You can also enjoy the famous Korakal ride at this spot. The Korakal boats are these round shaped basket looking boats that have been prevalent since the Vijayanagar empire in Hampi. I would suggest you to bargain with the boat service providers and have this unique experience in Hampi. We crossed the river in the boat and guess what? We got lost. We could not find even a single human being who could tell us the directions. So we decided to go back to the river bank and wait for a boat rider to help us navigate. Finally, we reached our destination, the Anjaneya Hill. Anjaneya Hill is the birthplace of Lord Hanuman. On the top of the hill, there is a temple dedicated to Lord Hanuman. We have to climb 575 steps, which makes this climb adventurous. I would suggest you to carry a water bottle with you because this will be a very tiring experience. If you know anything about Ramayan, then you must be knowing about Ram Setu and how it was formed. Huge rocks were floating on the water because Sri Ram was written on them. We saw such a rock in the temple. And with this, the last day of our trip ended and we finally headed towards some food. We discovered this cafe in Hampi and we loved the setup over here. There were mattresses, indoor games and exotic cuisine. It was time to say goodbye to Hampi with a heavy heart loaded with numerous moments of adventure and joy. You should explore this paradise at least once in your life. You can read all the information shared in this video in the description box below. It will be one of the most memorable trips of my life. What's your story of Hampi? Tell me in the comments and follow me on social media. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I make a video. Thank you for watching. Namaste.